Jen there? Jen's here. Hello. Hi, Jen. Hi. You're, you're on American Family Radio. We appreciate you being on with us. Your mom and dad have been sharing, uh, you know, about what happened uh, to your family and then how you've been, uh, God's been good to, to save your life, number one, and number two, yes. to, to give you a platform to share the gospel. Yes, thank you. God has been so good through it all and so faithful. Well, tell us about it. Tell us uh, what, what, when you go talk to groups, uh, to, especially to your peers, teenagers, what do you say? Well, yes, we explain how God is the one true thing that we can hold on to, that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he is the one that has sustained my family every single step of the way and has come to our rescue. Jen, tell them how you like to view God, that he's your escort. Yes, I love to view the Lord as um, he is there right beside me. Um, Scripture says that once you've invited the Lord into your life to be your Savior, how God will never leave you or forsake you. And it always just helped me have the confidence and the security as well as stability that I need. There's a story in the book, Tim, that um, was just unbelievable. Again, as Jen was emerging from this coma, she was completely blind, and she couldn't look at me and know I was her mom, and her body is thrashing uncontrollably back and forth, and we would, to calm her, we would sing praise songs or, yeah. or quote verses, and it was Christmas time, and we were singing Silent Night, and my friend Pam is there massaging her feet to calm her, you know, and in the middle of Silent Night, she just starts glowing, and she starts singing along with us and I, she can't even sit up at this time or do anything and um, at the end she says amen and I looked at her and I said Jennifer do you see Jesus and she said yes don't you see him he is standing right beside me yes. and that changed my life forever because somehow when Jen couldn't see me her own mom God made himself so real to her when she didn't know her name or who she was or where she was. Um, she was so injured. She didn't even have a short-term memory for a year or two. But God made himself so real to her, and she would pray and talk to him for hours. And she'd be moaning in pain, and we'd say, Jen, can we pray with you? And she'd say, he's right here. Just talk to him. And mm -hmm. so God has given her a peace. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right? Jen, Jen, it sounds to me like that coming out of this a truly tragic, horrific event that it has been ultimately for your own spiritual growth and brought you mm -hmm. much closer to God. That yes. be fair to say? Yes. She mm -hmm. has a completely different personality yes. now. Um, why don't you tell them about that? Well, um, yes, I, my personality, uh, I used to be more of a melancholy personality, more of an introvert. And now, um, God is just helping me be able to express my faith and live it out my faith and just, I pray, be a reflection of the Lord to the people I come in contact with. Another part of the story, too, that's woven through the book are Jen's journals because she was this quiet girl that loved God with all her heart and in her journals hidden all over her room. She's begging God for boldness. She's begging him, help me to be able to pray out loud. She couldn't pray out loud at see you at the pole at school, and her little yeah. brother could, you know. And so even though it's been hard, God has really answered the prayers of her journals, and she witnesses the people everywhere she goes, and she doesn't care what anybody thinks about her. And, you know, we have a lot of scars, and we talk about that from time to time. And um, Jen mm. was, we decided they were. We decided that they are beauty marks of the Lord's faithfulness and of how he can bring good through the sad times the hard times yeah how there's a they're present with you amen there's a by the way we're talking to jen or jennifer uh yeah. and yeah. and linda barrick b-a-r-r-i-c-k from lynchburg tennessee uh linda's husband and and jen's dad andy was on with us earlier in the program uh, they were telling us about their book it's called miracle for jen and uh, you had an opportunity, uh, your family did, I'm, 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 I'm looking at a photograph in the uh, uh, book that you met Johnny Erickson Tata. Yes, Johnny has been a great yes. friend to Jen, mm -hmm. and we met her backstage um, at a huge event at, um, it was Opryland, and Jen was meeting her, and Jen said, Johnny, can I 
pray for you. And Johnny mm-hmm. said, well, Jen, I'm having trouble breathing right now, and I'm getting ready to speak to 7,000 people. And so Jen prayed over her right there, yeah. and it was so powerful. We were all weeping, and from that day on, um, Johnny and Jen have had a special friendship, and Johnny has done a lot to encourage, you know, to encourage yeah, Jen to just keep sharing her story. Mm-hmm. And Johnny and friends did a um, TV story on Jen, and they show it all over the world, and we're getting emails now from 19 different countries all over the world, and that TV show just won a telly award um, this year, and so yeah. just, again, how in how in our weakness, you know, um, God is strong, and, and one thing Johnny's encouraged us with is just, you know, Johnny's got this huge ministry because God didn't heal her, mm-hmm. and because she's yeah. still in a wheelchair, she's reaching people all over the world for Christ, and God can use you not in spite of your disability, but because of it. And, um, uh, and let again, me ask you. Let me ask you this. Uh, by, by the way, the website. Uh, give the website again. The uh, website is hopeoutloud.com. Hopeoutloud.com. And I want to say there's great videos on the website. You can actually watch that TV um, um, series of Johnny that Johnny did on Jen, and you can watch exciting video clips and news clips. Jen was on Fox and Friends and the yeah. Today hey, Show. That's Lin- all on the website. You can order the book on the website, yeah. too. Hey, Linda, do you even um, attempt to get into the whole, you know, why God allowed this to happen question, right. or, or do you just don't deal with that? Um, I mean, of course, that's a common, you know, question. Um, there were definitely times when I... Um, again, Jen never struggled. She's praising God. And to give you a glimpse into our life, because she didn't have a short-term memory for so long, like she'd be screaming in the shower. She was very hypersensitive, and we had to brush her body every two hours with this plastic brush to desensitize her. And so in the shower, she'd be screaming. It felt like thousands of needles. And then five minutes later, she's turning on the praise music, and she's dancing around our living room saying, I'm so full of joy. I'm so sorry. I'm just full of joy. And so, you know, Andy and I are weeping because we see all that she's having to walk through. And there were times when I really struggled and wondered, you know, does God love me? Has he been good to my family? And I was I knew God with all my heart. I mean, I had followed God, you know, since I was a child. I'd accepted Christ as a child. My dad was a preacher. I was so worried I was going to be disappointed with God because I knew God was all-powerful and I knew God was good. And again, to me, all-powerful plus good, in my mind, meant six gen to who she was before. And what we've come to realize is God had a greater plan, yeah. and he's using Jen and her brokenness. And as we travel and speak, everyone is broken. They may not be physically broken, but they're emotionally broken in some way. And we talk about forgiveness a lot because everyone has someone who's wronged them, who they have to, you know, either either you're going to be bitter and that toxin's going to eat you away or you're going to be free and you're going to forgive with God's strength. And Jen, tell them what you like to, when you talk about forgiveness, you say about the drunk driver. Oh, yes. I, um, it was very hard to forgive, and um, I couldn't do it in my own strength. And after asking the Lord for help, I was able to take the drunk driver off my hook and put him on the Lord's. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice way to put it. It to, is. To, Thank to, you. To, yeah. Put him and, you know, on Jen just the wrote Lord's a letter side. to the drunk driver yeah. recently, and we haven't heard back, and I don't no. know if he can even comprehend. We sent it to a family member. But what Jen wrote in that letter was just, you know, I'm a 22-year-old girl who prays for you every day, and I don't know if you know who I am. Mm-hmm. And then she went on to say, you know, I have a brain injury because you were drinking and yeah. driving, and I suffer every day, you know, but... She, I, just, I, I just weep every time I read this part in the letter where she says, I like to think that God remodeled me and made me better, and he's using me in ways I never dreamed possible. And, um, mm. and I choose to forgive you just like God forgave me. And um, yes. we have to forgive for our own freedom. Mm-hmm. And, and Jen says all the time, I want God to use me to my fullest potential. Yes. And so I think because of all that Jen deals with every day and because she's still joyful, when people hear her speak or they read her book, um, it's, it's all about the power of God and how no matter what you go through, God is enough. He's enough yes. to carry you, and he's got new things mm-hmm. for you to do. Um, 
The ministry is called Hope Out Loud. You can find it on the internet, hopeoutloud.com. The book is called Miracle for Jen, written by Linda Barrick. It's been good to have Linda and Jen and Andy Barrick uh, with us. Thank you so much for sharing this you. amazing story of God's grace with us today. Thank you. Thank you. All right, folks, so we're going to take a break for news, and then uh, Ray and I will be back. Who we got?